Hey everybody, this is Nana Spring Chick and the big news today is, although I don't know if this should be big news, is the Republicans are caving in to Obama because they're afraid of bad press. Oh, like that's news? Okay, so what in the world are we doing with Syria anyway? Is that their war? Okay, yes, that's why they're voting before Congress, so this side can blame this side and this side. Oh, yes, we'll just wait for the world court. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Talk about Spike Jones. I mean, my parents, my mother, you can't go listen to that guy play that music. <laughs> I know. And you're catching the end of us ranting and raving about Miley Cyrus and her twerking. Yeah, okay. I'm going to explain to people. I did the same movie three times in the late 50s and in the early 60s by the same producer. He took the same script. I got to be the boy dancer with the sister. And we were basically condemned by, by society for doing, we were doing this and we were doing, and all of that shaking and everything. Well, that's filthy. You can't do that. And then you know how everyone ended? But well, everyone ended with you basically bringing out the, the dances that your parents and your grandparents were dancing before you, and uh, you know a lot of the flappers and and then the tango. They all considered that, and their parents said, "You're going to turn into the devil, disciple, if you do that tango." And then if you do, if you're doing, you know, the black bottom, you're going to turn it. Then in my era, it was basically. You know, rock and roll is here to stay. They did not like that, folks. Mm -hmm. Now it's Miley Cyrus and being naughty. Oh. Miley Cyrus is not even... When I was dancing, folks, girls used to wear swimsuit bottoms that were glued, like that well, big covering their butt. It wasn't even, I mean... <laughs> she was overly dressed for the dance group. That, that was like the Playboy bunnies from the 1960s. Yeah, where basically you got to see nothing but a little bit of thigh and some chest, and that was it. The girls in the swimsuits on the beaches. We're, we're, we're so god awful conservative today. You can't wear a swimsuit on the beach that I was dancing with girls wearing in the late 1950s. You can't wear those suits on the beach because they show too much butt. Mm. Yeah. Well, speaking about showing your butt, yeah. um, what about the Republicans? Oh, God, they're basically, okay, uh, well, if we don't, if we, we're going, if we don't vote, to support Obama, he's going to tell people we're racist. If we don't vote to support Obama, the press is going to crucify us. If we don't vote to support Obama, it's going to make our country look good. So they're going to vote to support Obama, and he's going to give them the shaft like he does every single time. He does it every time. It's the Democrats like even know better. The Democrats have already stated we're not going to give him the power he wants because he has an unfortunate history of abusing. If you give him an inch, he wants that mile. Oh, is, is that approving the bill with everything left blank? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not going to happen again, folks. You think they'd learn by but now. But the Republicans are going to swallow whatever bad happens from what Obama's going to do if the Republicans fall again. God, stupid people. And consensus, then about face, from Obama on Syria. Well, what they did was they told him at a meeting when he was walking in a rose garden, okay, the entire world is against what you're getting ready to do. We need a fall guy. Oh, Flea Obama says, let's give him the stupid Republicans who basically are being told by everybody that votes for him, don't do it. Isn't that something? They're being 80% of the Republicans saying, don't do it. So guess what the party leaders are doing? Well, we're going to have to teach those people in Syria. Okay, here, folks, here the thing is, what makes the life of all the kids killed before not as good as the kids killed by the chemical weapons? Mm -hmm. What makes them? What makes their parents' life worth less? I want to know what. Ask a Republican. What makes it worth? Here's a go. Oh, we have two bad choices. Neither one of them are good. But for the good of the country, we have to attack. Even if it backfires, we have to attack, and it's going to backfire. That one's going to backfire. Yeah. And if you don't give Obama what he wants, the press will call you racist. Well, he's already, they already said that, that they expect to lose the Tea Party vote because this is their chance to get even with me. Ooh. Well, the put it is, he expects to get, uh, Obama expects to get every Republican vote in the House and Senate except for those people that were elected by the Tea Party, con uh, Tea Party and those people that actually pay attention to what their constituents want. We're going to... Okay, this is basically what's supposed to be the money public today, but it's not going to, be going to change it. You're elected to support your state and your district, not to re support 
the other state and the other district, but this is what the Republicans are doing right now. They do not care a slight thing about the people that elected them. <laughs> you watch, there's got to be butts kicked out of office because this is, he's getting ready, the Republicans are getting ready to march headlong, you know, off a cliff following this guy because he'll solve it. I mean, he'll push you off the cliff. I mean, he throws his people under the buses, he saws up a behind them. You're about to find out Obama at his best. And U.S. fast food workers protest and demand a living wage. And it went nowhere. I mean, uh, here, oh, what did they do? Oh, did they fire everybody that didn't show up for work? Oh, yeah, now they don't have any job. And they basically, it's hard to get unemployment when you basically illegally struck a business and uh, you basically deny yourself unemployment because, in effect, they said you quit your job. Mm -hmm. You don't get unemployment insurance when you quit. Uh-oh, they oh, didn't think yeah. through that. That's right. And Congress is not authorized to allow Syria strikes, Iran. Uh, that's right, and Obama basically says he's the Republicans. Well, I will then have the leeway to punish Iran if they develop nuclear weapons. I will have the leeway to punish North Korea. Well, the Senate is not going to give him that leeway. They're going to tell him they're going to give him one strike and one strike only to do as he originally said, which is a pinprick. If it goes beyond that, mm -hmm. okay, here already, we already lost two of the ships that were going to be there today because of, uh, oh, it, did it have anything to do with the fact that the United States fired two missiles towards Damascus and then because the Russians responded with full military force, they blew them up over the ocean saying, well, it was just a test to see if, if we were ready. Two of our ships turned around and left the Mediterranean today. Oh, did they? Oh, God, yeah, because the Russians were coming with full force from the Red Sea today. And uh, is, they were, he was, a, Obama almost started World War III today. And California prison crowding plant neglects rehabilitation lawmaker. Well, there's not, okay, you, you don't put people in prison to rehabilitate them. You put prison, people in prison because they were bad people. <laughs> rehabilitation does not work. They know it doesn't work. <laughs> But the problem is they're now, they've got, the court has ordered that all of these people would uh, be they, they overcrowding, that they all be thrown out onto the streets, and that's the end of it. No, no monitoring, no nothing, no parole, they just get it, you know, well, hell, so you killed a dozen people, big deal. There's too many people here, so go kill another dozen, and then maybe we won't have as many people to worry about, so. And states offered more time to ignore the education law. Isn't that a good one? They have a law that basically says no kid is supposed to be left behind, but the teachers don't like it because it makes the teachers actually have to do something. I come from an era when people taught because that's what they wanted to do. I, I then went into the era when I was in college that I had people that lost their jobs in the broadcasting and film industry then become teachers because they were too incompetent to work in the industry they've been fired from. And they're teaching new people. Oh, and the Sierra wildfire, now California's fourth largest. Yeah, and I think it was started by people growing marijuana. And, uh -huh. the, well, we're going to put a halt to this because we're going to make marijuana legal and we're going to tax it so people will then be getting productive out of marijuana. Well, what happens is it means the drug lords are going to have more power than they did before because whatever they sell is going to be cheaper than the taxes you're going to be paying. So they increase the drug problem, not decrease it. Mm -hmm. And Syria opposition says Assad deploying human shields for airstrikes. Yeah, uh, Obama can't, well, this would be against the norms of the international community if he did that. Uh, what did they say? UN, UN observers are being posted by where they're most likely to hit at. News people are being posted where they're most likely to be hitting at. They're going to see Obama and the Republicans killing lots of little children, folks. Mm -hmm. Live on TV as they're coming in. The, Obama has fired a missile into a nursery school. There's 300 children. He had just killed 300 children. Obama just fired a, a missile into a grade school. Every one of the children in the grade school has been killed by President Obama and the Americans. And it's probably going to be a live feed. It, it's going to be live. Mm -hmm. And Obama warned Republicans against trying to defund his signature health care law. Well, they, they're not going to defund it. I, I'm assuming Obama wants to, I mean, uh, Boehner probably is in bed with the president now, so we can figure that things are going to get worse with health care now that Boehner is now going to be... Oh,